I'm relieved. Yeah. I was just going to ask you, sort of feeling of relief, or what was your impression after the game? Oh, no, I'm really happy to win still, because as we, we say week in, we get how close the comp is, and we know that, and Brisbane, to their credit, kept at us all day. You know, there's a couple of times in the game I felt like we are going to break them, and then... Uh, as I said, they just kept coming back, and they showed, you know, they showed some significant steps, haven't they, for the last probably last part of last year and the early part of this year. So they're always going to be a challenge. We we say that all the time, but people don't always believe it. Did the Sydney game, hard Sydney game, have any impact on your performance today? I'd hope not. No, I'd hope not. But we have, you know, we've been in three hot games at the start of the year. But I, I, I said before the game, I don't think it has a, a bearing at all. Both sides are out there doing it. Both sides are playing in similar conditions for the first three rounds. Both sides are coming off short breaks, so I, I don't think that has any bearing on it. Do you not feel they sort of slowed the walk a little bit in that last quarter? No, I don't, because the third quarter was so strong. You know, then you know maybe then we, we, we thought we nearly had enough and then we couldn't quite get going when we need to. And as I said, Brisbane just kept coming at us. And, um, you know, they played a really good game. They had their captain not playing and, you know, Rich wasn't out there too. So you know, I'm sure they'd be very proud of their performance. We were very respectful of what they are and what they're getting to become and know that at the end of the year we'll take this as a win and be grateful for it. What did you say at half-time, Ken? What was the message there? Oh, no, we talked about some of our um, work rate yeah. as much as anything. We talked about, you know, the opportunity to outnumber at the ball. They, they seem to be doing that better than us at that time. And, um, you know, there was, it was pretty clear the players. The good thing about the players now, they, they probably recognise it before we do half the time, which is good. Yeah. Very nervous start of the season. Obviously, a very good way to kick it off. Yeah, you take that, wouldn't you? Uh, and start of the year, everyone, every club would be happy to be 3-0. and We're really pleased with the fact that we, you know... Because I said at the end of the year, they're all going to add up and you're going to look back on some and not others, but... You know, you just got to win enough games, and you know, to get away to a three and zero starts really positive. Did you always think coming out, Stephen Martin was going to be pretty influential? Today? Yeah, yeah, you know, he's a pretty, pretty good player, full stop, isn't he? Not just as a ruckman, but he's, you know, he was the most uh, dynamic player on the ground in the first half. He's had twenty possessions, I think, three hundred metres gain, been involved with seven scoring assists, or score involvements for Brisbane. He's just playing a really strong game of football, and we we're trying our best. Hoff and Charlie and the blokes that we had going through there, and Doug, were doing their absolute best. But credit to Stephen. Does that make you really think what you do? You know, next week, the week after, like whether you bring in a specialist right off of Frampton or someone for Essendon. No, we look through. We look. We look through it, but we, we're pretty comfortable that the people we got out there are capable of getting it done. More often than not, today was a day where the, the opposition ruckman got on top. That happens whether we, you've got Paddy out there. Sometimes the opposition ruckman get on top. Apart from the win, was there a part of your game that pleased you more than any other? Yeah, I like the resilience at the end. Uh, if I look back six months ago in a back fifty stoppage and feel what happened at the in an end in the end of a big game of final you know I thought we set up really well structurally in the back 50 stoppage I th thought you know the group showed some growth and you know, Pollock marks the ball on the line and you know we had to keep going and keep going for it was about a minute 20 or something on the clock and we just played scrappy dirty tough footy to hang on was it feeling for deja vu there from the west coast game yeah fell like in the box for a little bit it's going oh no you're looking up going we're in that position well sometimes as a coach you really really do want to duplicate what happened and and you want them to be able to get through it but it's pretty bloody scary sitting there waiting for it to get through. So that's what I worry about. But I was pleased they got through it. Yeah, he should be fine. You know, come back out and played. And we, we pulled up clean, I think, from the game. So I don't imagine there'd be any issues. Tommy Rockliffe um, came out had a good second half. He probably hasn't been at his absolute best the first two weeks of the season. So yeah, it's really positive. He's building, isn't he? He's just slowly building. And, you know, today, I'm sure, you know, we've seen parts of the game today that was positive for Rock. And, uh, you know, we, we expect he'll continue to get better. We expect a lot of players to continue to grow. How did you find that Dougal Howard, Charlie Cameron match up there? Like Charlie got him a couple of times. He was pretty even all the way through. Or? Yeah, no, we, Charlie got early, didn't he? He got going early and looked dangerous. He, he was. I shouldn't say he was happy to be home because home's Brisbane, but he seemed to be happy to be back at Adelaide Oval early and uh, credit to him. But, you know, Dougal's speed's really important, so that's we don't worry about speed. And sometimes the, the big player on a small with speed causes some problems in the in the marking contest. But on that in the first quarter particularly, Charlie had the better of it. Thank you. Thanks, Jay.